Hello, welcome again. I now want us to attempt a different question on uh, partial differentiation, diploma, electrical. This is uh, June July 2022. June plus July 2022. That's module one. And we are taught question to be. I think the other questions in this uh, paper you have done them already. Question to be is given that given that function x y is equal to x cubed y squared plus sign x y plus exponential x y so that second order partial derivative of the function First with respect to y and then with respect to x is equal to second order derivative of the same function. First with respect to x and then with respect to y. So let us see how we can go about this. So we take our function, our function of x and y is equal to uh, x cubed y squared plus 3, not plus sine xy plus exponential xy. First, we differentiate our function f with respect to y. So here, x is a constant, remember. This would be, um, if you differentiate this y, it would be 2x cubed y plus x is a constant. When you differentiate this sign, you get cosine function. So this constant x here will multiply here. Cosine of xy plus when differentiating with respect to y, this x on here is a constant. So you multiply with the x exponential xy. Now that expression we have differentiated there with respect to y. Differentiate it with respect to x. Or differentiate with respect to x whatever you have just differentiated with respect to, to y if we differentiate here with respect to x it will be 6 x y 6 x squared y plus differentiate here with respect to x uh, because you are differentiating with respect to x now y is your constant so this constant will multiply here so that you have x y the sign the cosine function will change to a negative sign so you have negative x y sign x y plus and differentiating here with respect to x, y will be a constant. So this one will multiply here. x, y, exponential x, y. Uh, having knowledge on chain rule is usually very key. A lot of methods when you are differentiating, chain rule will keep on coming up. So if you never understood chain rule, then everything else will look difficult later. If you want to watch my video on chain rule, check the very first lesson, which is um, lesson number one. You can check it on the link shown here. Another thing I would really like to encourage you always use what you call playlists. See, this video will organize them into lessons. Lesson one, two, three, four, and so on. How do you get the playlist? When you're watching the video, you see my logo or my uh, photo picture. Click on it. Somewhere I will see. Playlist. 
of your number of things and then it predicts into one of them. Click on predicts, you see many predicts for Fourier series, matrices, numerical method, complex analysis, trigonometry, and then and now differentiation. Click on the uh, differentiation playlist and you see videos organized from lesson one to the last. So that's how you can do, uh, make your work easier uh, when you're using YouTube uh, to learn. We have already obtained this. Now let us get the other different derivative. It starts again with the original function, function of f1 is equal to x cubed y squared plus sine xy plus exponential xy we differentiate for the first time with respect to x here this derivative we have told we first differentiate with respect to x this will be differentiating to, with respect to x it will be 3 x squared y squared those why you are not touching it you are differentiating with respect to x plus and you are differentiating here with respect to x y will be a constant so you must find this constant here y the sine function will change into a cosine function that's why plus when you are differentiating exponential function with respect to x this one here on the top will appear as a constant so it will multiply here then everything will remain the same exponential x y Now we differentiate this again, but this time round with respect to y. So this second order derivative of the function first with respect to x and with respect to y means we differentiate with respect to y. What you have just obtained by differentiating with respect to x, which will be 3x squared y squared plus y cosine of x y plus y exponential x y let us now perform the derivative differentiation we are differentiating the respect y so we will be considering this y so we, since x now is a constant it will no longer be affected we differentiate y squared it will give you a 2 times this 3 6x squared y plus now we are differentiating with respect to y x will appear as a constant it will multiply here and now the sine function cosine function will be changed into a negative sign so negative sign but before that we negative we have this y x multiplying so we have xy xy sine that's why plus finally when you're differentiating this one with respect to y x will appear as a constant so it will multiply here so that i want to make it appear similar to that one so that it will be x y x y exponential x y now we are told to check if this and this are equal so we can bring them together that one is 6x squared y minus xy sine xy plus xy exponential xy is equal to 6x squared y this one again minus xy sine xy plus have limited space x y exponential x y i think they agree so since the two sides are balancing then we have money to prove that that question was eight marks i think that was uh pretty easy. not bad eight marks you find some question that will take you a lot of time to get those eight marks that is bad so I think we have done enough examples on this part. So next video will be on application of partial differentiation, whereby we will discuss uh, small changes and errors 
and we also discuss how to get a minimum and maximum point when you are given a function of more than two variables. Uh, so that is it. Uh, remember to share the videos with other engineering students. You can also leave your question as a comment, or you can also like the video. This is a way of improving what we call SEO. SEO, search engine optimization. When you're engaging with my videos through sharing, liking, watching online, uh, it creates that engagement. It shows YouTube there is that engagement. Viewers are engaging the videos, and therefore the YouTube algorithm is able now to promote my videos to even more people. So that is it. Uh, see you in the next one.